What's up guys? This is Audits from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you 7 Gmail tricks which everybody should know. So most of these tricks are quite simple but overall they're going to enhance your experience using Gmail. So let's get started. So the first trick is related to undoing an email after you've sent it. So over here I've kept an email ready and once I click send you can see that they've given me an option to undo it. But this is going to stay only for 5 seconds. And now you can see that it's gone. So now if I want to undo it, I don't have any option. All I can do is view the email. So now what we can do is go to settings and then increase the time for which the undo button stays. So I'll just show you how to do that. You've got to go to settings on the top right. After that, you've got to click on see all settings. Then you have to scroll down. You'll find an option undo send. And then the send cancellation period is for 5 seconds currently. What you can do is just make it 30 or for as long as you want it to stay. So right now I'll keep it 30, then scroll down and just click on save changes. So now the changes are made and I'll just show you how it works. So again I'll quickly send an email. And now I'll click on send. So now again the undo option has come and you can see that it's over 5 seconds and it's still there. So this is going to remain for 30 seconds. So let's say after 20 seconds you decide you don't want to send the email. You can just press undo and now it's undone. So this is one feature which I really like because after you sent an email, there's no way to undo it. So I prefer keeping it for a longer period of time. Now the second thing that I'm going to talk about is adding a signature at the end of your email. So I'm sure you'd have seen that a lot of business emails, they'll have some images or tagline at the end of every email. And it's extremely simple to do this. What you've got to do is again just go to settings. Then click on see all settings. After that you'll have to scroll down. And over here there's a setting which is called signature. So this is going to append at the end of all outgoing messages. So now just click on create new. So you've just got to give this a name. And over here you can design the signature. So if I just want to say best regards Adit then I can just keep this then if you want to add some images they have an option for that as well so if you click on insert image then you can upload it from my drive or from google or anything else so the same way you can change the font you can make it bold italics you can underline it so they have tons of options over here and after this you've just got to make changes to the setting so where the signature defaults you can decide for new email use whether you want no signature or you want or you want to keep the signature which you just created. So if you have many different signatures, you can select one from all of the options. After that, you can decide whether on reply or forward you want to use it. So that's up to you. So I'll keep it on for both. So once you've made all of these changes, scroll down and click on save changes. So now it's done and I'll just compose a new email. And now you can see at the bottom, they've shown best regards Adit. And now I'll just save my time of typing this every time. And in settings, they had an option whether you want to remove these two dashes. So this is up to you. Now the third trick is scheduling an email. So what you can do is type the entire email right now and keep the draft ready. And then you can decide when you want the email to get sent. So I'll just show you how that works. Again, click on compose. After that, you can type your email over here. And then you'll see that there's an arrow next to send. So just click on that. And over here it's written schedule send. So when you click on that, you can decide when you want to send it. So they have some default options like tomorrow morning, this afternoon. Or what you can do is just click on pick date and time. So over here you can decide exactly which date you want to send it on and at what time. So if I want to keep it 10 a.m., I've selected that. And now I'll just click on schedule send. And now you can see that it's scheduled for Friday, September 3rd at 10 a.m. Now the next trick is vacation mode. So if you've gone for a vacation or if you aren't going to check your emails for let's say a week, then what you can do is just enable this mode. So then if someone sends you an email, you can just send an automated response informing them that you're traveling. So to enable this, you've got to go to settings. Again, see all settings. Then you have to scroll down. And at the bottom, they have vacation responder. 
So currently it's off. So just click on this button over here. And now it's on. After that, you've got to enter the dates from which you won't be able to check your emails. So the first day is September 1st. And the last day you can decide whether you want to keep it. So right now it's just September 8th, but you can make changes to this. After that, you can send the subject. Traveling. So this is all up to you. Then over here, you can just type anything that you want, saying that you won't be able to check your emails until this date. And then they have an option only to send a response to people in your contacts. So then if you get an email from an unknown person, they won't send this. And once you're done, just click on save changes. The next trick is related to deleting large emails. So Google Drive only gives you 15 GB of storage. And let's say you're running out of it. Then what you can do is go through all of the emails which have attachments over a certain size. So to do that, just click on this filter button over here. So this is to filter your search. After that, next to size, you, you can select greater than and then just enter a certain size. So let's say I put 5 MB. So now it's going to show me all of the emails which have attachments over 5 MB. And over here, next to has attachment, I can just enable it. And now I'll search. So over here I can see all of the emails. And if I want to clear up some space, then I can select all of them by clicking over here. And then I can just delete all of them. So this will help to clear up space. And the same way you can make changes in the filter. The next trick is keyboard shortcuts. So if you go to settings, you'll find an option called keyboard shortcuts. And this is usually off in most accounts. So just click on keyboard shortcuts on. And then click on save changes. So now if you press shift and the question mark together, you'll get a list of all of the shortcuts which you can use. So they have different shortcuts for different topics like composing an email, formatting it. And if you scroll down, they have even more shortcuts. So these are usually disabled, but if you click on enable, then you can use all of these shortcuts. And if you're someone that uses Gmail often, then these will really help you save time. So let's say you want to do small tasks like forward or forward in a new window, then these shortcuts will help you save time. The last trick I'm going to talk about is confidential mode. So before sending an email, you have an option to enable confidential mode. And by enabling this, the recipient can't copy, forward or download the email which you sent to them. So I'll show you how it works. So again, compose an email. And at the bottom, you'll find an option over here to turn on and off confidential mode. So it's this icon which is over here and just click on it. Then you can set the expiration date. So for one week, if you don't want them to do any of these, you can set it for one week. Or there are many more options and you can select one of these. After that, you can decide whether you want to require a passcode. So you can read this to get the information. So if you select SMS passcode, then you have to enter the phone number of the recipient and then Google will send them the passcode or else you can just click on no SMS passcode and then save this. So I'll just send it now. So now I've gone to my other email ID and this is how it looks. So I can read hello, best regards Adit. But if I try to select this, you can see that it doesn't let me. And if I click on the three dots over here, then there's no option to forward this email, download it or anything like that. So this is basically how it works. And I hope these tricks helped you. And if it did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Goodbye.